Hey friends, I um, wanted to make a video for you today. I haven't made one for a few days and um, I have noticed looking at our page and on the participants page, I can kind of see last time you logged in, I can see um, your workouts posted, your Shakeology posted, that's how I can kind of keep track of things with you guys. And I've noticed that several of us are dropping off right now and um, that's concerning to me because I know that many of you have a tremendous reason why you are here, a very big why, um, and I wanted to encourage you, take a moment to encourage you and remind you to stick with it, okay? Um, I have read a phenomenal book many times now since I started my journey two years ago. It's called, turn it like that, The Compound Effect. Um, I think it would be another phenomenal one for you guys to read if you haven't already. Um, and one of the sections here it reminds us um, to be patient when we are breaking our previous bad habits um, and starting new ones, as you guys, many of you have chosen to do through this challenge group. Um, it says to remember to be patient with yourself. If you've spent 20, 30, 40 years or more repeating the behaviors you're now trying to change, you have to expect that it's going to take time and effort before you see lasting results. And um, I, I wanted to remind you of that. Um, it is your small daily choices compounded over time that is going to get you to the place that you are wanting to be. So you have to stick with it. You have to do those small daily things um, to get where you want to be. We're at day 23 right now. You guys are so close to hitting that point of where uh, research shows that habits are, bad habits are broken, new habits are begun. 30 days is that point, so please keep showing up, keep going. I also wanted to read you guys another section in this book that is so encouraging to me. Anytime that I am feeling like slowing down in my health journey or um, any other goals that I've set for myself, habits that I'm trying to form, um, this analogy that he shares in this book um, is always the one that comes to my mind and helps me to remember to just keep going. So I want to actually read this section to you, okay? It's called the pump well. When you start thinking about slacking off on your routines and rhythms, consider the massive cost of inconsistency. It is not the loss of the single action and tiny results it creates. It is the utter collapse and loss of momentum. Your entire progress will suffer. Think of a hand-pumped water well, which uses a pipe to draw water up from the water table several feet underground. To get the water to the surface, you have to pump the well's lever to create the suction that brings the water above the ground and out of the spout. So we've all seen those. You know, you go to the zoo, kids get to play with that section. They pump, 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 pump. It takes a long time. And finally, water starts coming out slowly, and then um, it'll, if you keep going consistently, it just starts pouring out. So we continue. When most people start a new endeavor, like this challenge, like your healthy, healthy lifestyle that you're trying to work on right now, they grab the lever and start pumping really, really, really hard. Just like when we have this plan to get fit, we're excited, committed, we pump and pump and pump, but after a few minutes, or for us, a few weeks, when we don't see any results or water, um, they give up, we give up pumping the lever altogether. Uh, they don't realize how long it takes to create the vacuum needed to suck the water into the pipe and eventually out of the spout and into their bucket. Just like a merry-go-round rocket ship or steam engine breaking free of inertia, it takes time, massive energy, and consistency to pump water. Most people give up but wise people continue to pump. Those who persevere and continue to pump the lever will eventually get a few drops of water. This is when a lot of people say, you have got to be kidding me. All this pumping for what? A few measly drops? Forget it. Many people throw their hands up in defeat and quit, but wise people like you persist further. And here's where the magic happens. If you continue to pump, it doesn't take long before you'll get a full and steady stream of water. You have your success. Now that the water is flowing, you no longer need to pump the lever as hard or as quickly. It becomes easy, actually. All you have to do to keep the pressure steady is to just pump the lever consistently. That's called the compound effect. 
Now what happens if you let go of the lever for too long? The water falls back down into the ground and you're back to square one. If you try to pump the lever easily and steadily, you won't get any water. Momentum is gone. Water is at the bottom. The only way to get it back up is to pump it really hard over again. That's how most of us lead our lives, in fits and starts. We get a new business venture going and then cut out on vacation. We start up a routine of making 10, pers 10 uh, prospecting calls a day, strike a little gold, and then shift into neutral. We get hopped up about our new date night routine with our spouse, but in a few weeks it's back to Netflix and microwave popcorn on the couch Friday nights. I see people buy a new book, sign up for a new program or seminar, and go crazy for a couple of weeks or months. Then they stop and end up right where they started. Does that sound familiar? Miss only a couple of weeks of anything. Workouts at the gym or at home for us, uh, affectionate gestures towards your spouse or the phone calls that are part of your prospecting routine, and you don't just lose the results those two weeks would have produced. If that's all you lost, which is what most people assume is what they will lose, not much damage would be done. But by slacking off for even a short time, you have killed momentum. It's dead, and that's a tragedy. Winning the race is all about pace. Be the tortoise. The person who, given enough time, will beat virtually anybody and in any competition as a result of positive habits and behaviors applied consistently. That'll put the mojo in your momentum and keep it there. So I hope you guys are okay with me taking a few minutes to read that to you, but I just felt like that is a word that you guys need to hear at this point in your journey. Um, you may be hitting that point where you're like, I have been pushing so hard. I have been doing my very, very best and I'm not seeing the results I want. Or I have been doing this and I just don't like it. It's not fun. It's not going to be fun for a little while. It's going to take that really consistent, hard, daily effort. And I promise you guys, it will get easier. It will become part of that easy lifestyle for you. Um, I, I don't want to see you give up. I believe in you guys. I know that you can make this your healthy lifestyle, not just a few weeks where you committed to something and then you quit again. Please, guys, keep showing up. Keep pushing forward. Keep putting your best effort in every day. Consistency over time is going to get you where you want to be. So don't stop now. Have a good rest of your Tuesday. Please message me if I can help you in any way, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.